so I was one of those people last night out on my porch in my pajamas and slippers trying to see the northern lights. Maybe you saw them too. They were all over my Instagram feed. From the foothills of Butte to Bozeman backyards, I had to figure out the scientific reasoning this is happening. So of course I went to an expert. Thankfully, he wasn't that far away. Can you talk for a sec? Sure. It's like the perfect solar storm. Meteorologist Matt Elwell broke it down for me, simply. Really, it's, it's that interaction through the magnetic field with that sun's energy that causes this. In these videos, you see greens and pinks and reds dance through the sky. Matt explained the colors coordinate with different molecules and react differently. Red auroras are way up in the atmosphere. Green auroras from oxygen and nitrogen creates the pink. So I drove to MSU to ask some folks about what they thought about the Fantasia looking light display. Hey, excuse me, can I ask you a really random question? Who saw the Northern Lights last night? I did. Were you surprised to see them? No, everyone and their mother had it on their stories already. <laughs> Some students were luckier than others when viewing Tuesday's Aurora. I um I looked out the window and I didn't see anything and then I heard that you need like your phone to look at them. So why does that happen? Why does the camera see it better than your eyes? To get answers, I hopped on Zoom with Dr. Joseph Shaw, MSU professor and director of the Optical Technology Center. You have to hold the camera steady for several seconds, five seconds or so. And what it's doing is collecting the light during that period. Your eyes can't do that. Your eyes collect light in a period of time that is about 1 30th of a second. Dr. Shaw explained the geometric storm was rare for its early night visibility to its reach all the way to South America. He even showed me these photos he captured in Arizona. He says in Bozeman, the best place to see the aurora is north and where less light pollution is. But yeah. apparently they're happening tonight, so I'm gonna yeah. be looking out for that. Both meteorologists, Matt Elwell and Dr. Shaw recommend tonight just stepping outside and looking up. You never know what you're gonna see. In Bozeman, Megan Elaine, MTN News.